came and looked and there he was. This is morning one with Brando. George already woke him up, like uncovered him. I don't think he took him out. Brando was... Okay. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you guys. Brando was... The whole time I was sitting here just reading messages from you guys. He was sitting up here quietly. As soon as he saw me get up, he jumped down. You wanna come? Okay, so I got Brando playing with him a little bit. Come on, Brando. Everybody wants to see you. Hmm. I bet he thinks the camera is like his mom, too. <laughs> yeah, he has no fear of the camera. He's like baby Brando Truman. Truman Brando. <laughs> so, like, all I'm doing is nothing but sitting with him and observing him and getting to know him. Clearly guys, I feel like I should say this, like if you see two minutes of video of me and Brando, let's say, because like how long are these videos? Like maybe 25 minutes, 20, 15? That means I filmed like five minutes of me and Brando and I spent a lot of time with him. So I don't want you guys to ever think like, oh, I just do, you know, what you see on camera because you have to remember like I have a real life with Brando. And I like to spend time with him without holding the camera, you know, just bond with him. But I do try to pick up the camera and give you guys a good idea of what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to do this stuff? Are you going to get the eyelashes? So basically, I've just, I'm not going to take him out of this room. He's not going to be out for more than half an hour at a time. So let's get into some details of things that you would want to do on your first day. If you haven't been watching the bird 100%, he's in his cage relaxing. You want to make sure he ate, right? That would be of interest to me. So I see that Brando, this would be his first time on top of the cage too. He's never sat up there. Just get him introduced to his cage. But I see that Brando has mixed with his water, some of the pellets. Oh my God, his first little stair climb. Probably I think he's doing all this for the first time and then this door is a naughty bird. Big bird! He likes the window. Sometimes he likes to talk to the birds flying by. You want to make sure that there's evidence of the bird eating. So whatever they fed the bird where they were breeding him, you want to keep the same food for a little while. So you don't want to introduce them to something new and then suddenly they don't eat and they're still a baby, right? It's still a very fragile time. So you want to keep the food very consistent and make sure that you buy or bring home whatever they were feeding the bird for a little while. Felipe said probably for about a month. I'll just wait until I run out of it. And also, so if like, for example, obviously I want Brando to be eating Marlene's signature blend with tops. So after probably like 15 to 20 days, I'll start mixing that in with his food so that he can get used to it. So that's one way that you would get your bird, you know, adjusted because you don't want to shock the bird and take away something if he's not eating. Um, but I might test and see how open he is to it, but you never know. Eating is important. Also, you really want to be an observer of parrot behavior when you have a bird, okay? It has to be interesting to you. What are they doing? What are their movements? Where is their instinct to go? Like he's scratching his beak, like what made him scratch his beak right now, you know? Did he just drink water? Is he itchy? Is he fluffing? Like is it the air conditioning? Like all sorts of different things. Like sometimes, you know, they just ate or whatever. Obviously, you could see that it was that he drank water. So he was just giving himself like a little dry down. So that's one thing. The second thing is you want to be aware of like, where did the bird like to sleep last night? So evidence of that would be in the droppings. I could see by the bird's droppings that he barely moved. Like 
he chose a spot and that's what he likes. And the reason that would be interesting to me is to analyze the cage setup. If he doesn't move anywhere else, maybe he doesn't have a secondary spot that he's comfortable with, or maybe that's just where he likes to sleep and then we'll always keep a perch there. Because you know, you wanna start paying attention to the way that they behave and the way that they sit and making sure that everything is accessible and comfortable. Maybe if I notice he's not playing with toys, it's way too soon. But over the next couple of days and weeks, like if he's not playing with toys or he's not interested in anything, you know, moving them or trying different things. These are the things you have to observe. You can't just let your bird be and be like, oh, whatever he does, he does. He has to be interesting to you. That's one of the most important things I feel like, just the bird being interesting. Like every little thing they do, you should try to figure out in your head, what does it mean? What is the correlation between him doing this now and doing it last time? When you have a bird, it's different than having a dog because you really want to become an excellent behavior analyst. Even when you have a dog or a cat you want to be, that's what makes the best trainers, tamers, and animal friendly people. With a bird, it's very important because they can be difficult. They get hormonal. There's a lot that goes into having a bird. So if you understand their behavior and understand what makes them happy and what makes them stressed, you're going to have a much happier bird overall. I don't know if I've ever said this before, but a lot of it with me and birds is really just analyzing them, focusing on them, and getting to know them. And by the way, most of that's gonna happen when the camera's not on, right? It's gonna be me watching intently, focusing, looking, and just genuinely interested in the bird and his well-being. Every movement that a bird makes, how they step up on you, how he didn't wanna step up right now, he wants to go back to where he is. Oh, how interesting, he likes to be up high. Which way does he face? Does he wanna face where I am or does he wanna face outside the window? Like really, really just think, analyze and get to know. I'm just trying to give you guys all sorts of questions on the spot because that's how you become good. You just really wanna analyze. So it's gonna take some time and it's, it's fun though. Like I think to have birds, you have to love the science of birds as well. Even just a little part of your personality personality to be like, wow, what made you behave that way? Because it's not always as simple as you think, but it may also be simpler than you think. And that's where, you know, the understanding comes in. So in a little bit, Brando will have been out too much at a time. Brando's boss, I can tell already if I let him out too much at a time too early, he'll demand to be right here. So cute. Look at his tongue. I have to go rehearse with a scene partner now. So Brando's gonna go back and he's gonna relax. He kind of had a little bit of an environmental introduction to my bed, a little more to the room. He hears the birds. So he knows there's other birds. Then I'm gonna come back and we'll see what happens, okay? All right guys, as you can tell by my lipstick, it's uh, later. Brando's been resting and getting used to things. You wanna come out? I have to do his food and water, so. Eat? Did you eat all? He's so cute, guys. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's tired. He's not gonna be out long. Just a few minutes and then he's going to bed. And then he's gonna wake up bright and early again. Can you believe he's my third mustache parakeet? Stretchy, stretchy. They often go potty after they stretch. Just a little tidbit tip. I'm gonna put Brando to bed. I love him. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Brando today. He's so sweet. So day one, we just pretty much laid low. He was in his cage, he came out, or he's not supposed to come out day one. Well, day one was kind of like yesterday, so he didn't come out yesterday. Once he went in there, he went to bed. Day two, he could come out like half an hour, every few hours. Oh, you're tired. So he's tired now, so he's gonna go to bed. We brought him out for that one half hour, and then we brought him out for another half hour. This is his kind of like 10 minutes before he goes to bed. He did some funny things though. When he was in his cage, which we like to call his house, I was uh, in the room doing stuff, and every time I like sang to him, he would go, ah, 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 
Like, it was so cute. He was so responsive. It's going to be so interesting introducing him to, to the other birds. Another stretch. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want videos early, join my Flighters Club. I love you guys so much. You guys make everything happen. I just want to let you know that you as one person have so much value. You watching my channel and subscribing really encourages other people to watch and subscribe. And then we get the word out about helping birds, learning about birds. And that's one more person that can tell another person about birds in the way that it's important to practice engage, not caged. Right, Brando? Wings. So look, wings. When a bird lifts his wings, now obviously you know he's going to stretch, right? I can say wings so that he understands that even though he didn't do it because I said when he does it, then I say the word and then he'll associate the word with the action. So if you want a bird to associate a word with an action, you can wait till they do the actions. Essentially, it's like they think they're controlling you saying it. So sometimes when we say proud bird to Rocky, he lifts his wings and we go, yay. He's so excited by us going, yay, that it turns into him lifting his wings so we could go, yay. You know what I mean? Then he becomes controlling us, which is so cute. It's time for his bed. I love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that.